Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be explaining exactly which weapons you should be buying in a variety of scenarios in Valorant. For example, we're going to be going over what you should be buying pistol round, what you should be buying if you lose pistol round on second round, what you should be buying if you win pistol round on second round, and what you should be doing on a variety of bonus rounds, when you should be buying abilities, and a variety of other things. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. What should you be buying on pistol round? So I'm going to keep it short and simple. You should be buying the ghost or the sheriff. You should not be buying the classic or the shorty. Those are pretty much a troll if you're using them on pistol round, in my opinion. Uh, unless you're doing some sort of challenge for the classic, or you just really want to stock up on utility and you want to use the classic, I would just highly not recommend it though. It's not great anymore. You're going to get outplayed by the ghost. The vast majority of people are using the ghost. If you're using the ghost, go ahead and keep on doing it. Uh, the frenzy is good on some smaller maps, but generally you want to stick to the ghost or the sheriff. Now, why would we use the sheriff over the ghost? If you're a duelist primarily, which I know a lot of you guys are, I would recommend considering the sheriff if you're having a good aim day especially. Like if you're feeling confident, even if you're not feeling confident, just get out of your comfort zone once and try this. It means you're not going to have as much utility here, right? But at the same time, you're going to have much more potential than people with a ghost if, you're, if you can aim, right? So let's go ahead and just say that we buy a uh, sheriff. And we come up to site and we get the spike planted. I'm just trying to do this so that we have accurate amounts of money. So we get the sh we get the plant. We we die with the sheriff, and then the next round starts. So we have 3,300. But because we planted, we have um, we're gonna have a lot more money here just because we planted, right? And I didn't get a kill or anything. Also, if you just get a kill and you don't plant, you also have more money, right? But if you just die and don't get a kill and don't plant, then it's it's going to be bad and you're not going to be able to buy as much on the second round. So this time we're assuming that we lost pistol round. So what do we buy now? So what we want to be buying down to whenever you lose pistol round, this is crucial. You see this right here? It says min next round. What this stands for is minimum next round. You want to make sure that you get this down to 3,300. Not the amount of credits you have, but the total min next round. So what this means is that you can buy here, here, here. You can buy a sheriff. I can even buy light armor in this scenario. So if you get the spike down, it's very simple. You, you can get all this stuff. Obviously, it's going to change uh, depending on what character you're playing and what utility you're buying. But you can buy down here. And what this number, why this number is important is because you can buy light armor and a, sh a phantom or a vandal next round. And you can so, so you can still buy full armor and arm light armor. But you also have this amazing sheriff to use during the round. They can allow you to win the second round even after losing piss round. So it should give you guys some hope. Pro players, a lot of pretty much most people in, in my around my rank and high ranks, you're gonna see do this, okay? Why do they do this? Why would you not just save up all your money, maybe buy some abilities, and just run around with a classic? Well, okay, what you, let's think. What are your odds of actually winning the round with this classic? And also we have 400 extra credits, right? So what are we doing here? We're just saving money that we don't actually need. Like, we're not going to invest in the stock market with this money, right? Hey guys, if you're a duelist player and you want some game-changing, absolutely rank-improving information, check out my Patreon link down in the description below. And I have $5 Valorant courses, including a mentality course that will absolutely change how you perceive things that happen to you in Valorant. And a an aim training course, which can help you improve your aim drastically, and I can almost guarantee you you'll improve, if not rank up one or multiple times. Enjoy the video. So, we're just running around with no some... Prisoners credits that we don't actually need, and what are the odds we're going to kill people who have like a Guardian or a Spectre or a Bulldog with a Classic? Not very not very likely, right? So that's why we want to spend the extra money, and then we're going to sacrifice Heavy Shields next round so that we can potentially get this run. Does that make sense? This is what you should be doing 95% of the time. The only time you don't want to be doing this is if you didn't get the Spike Plant, you didn't get a kill um, on the first run, and so you really don't have that much money to work with, then you actually kind of have, to, you're much more limited. You're probably gonna have to keep the classic. But in most scenarios, you're gonna either get a kill or you're gonna get the spike down. And if you get more than one kill, it's gonna be even better. So also if you're on a uh, ability heavy character like Gecko or Sage or something, you're gonna need to prioritize your abilities and some of those can be a bit more expensive. But generally if you're a duelist, this is what your buy's gonna look like. You might have to sell some of the flashes to have Remember, we're looking at 3,300. What does this mean? What does this number mean? It means we can buy Light Armor and uh, Vandal or Phantom next round. That is what we're looking at, right? So just keep that in mind, guys. So what happens if we win Pistol Round? Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do something here. Let's see. Infinite credits. So what happens if we win Pistol Round? My ult's right. I'm going to do this. All right, never mind. 
So what happens if we win Pilstron? We're going to more than likely want to buy Former and a weapon. So it depends how many how many credits you have, but generally you'll have enough to either afford a Spectre. Spectre's a great choice, uh, especially if you're you know not practicing a lot with the Marshal. The Marshal is also a really great choice because. For one round, all of your enemies, or at least probably most of them, are not going to have armor unless you do what I say and buy sh light shields and sheriff. But more than likely in your rank, most people are not going to have armor. Uh, another choice is a guardian's a very very strong choice. Except you're more than likely going to have to buy light shields for the guardian, which I honestly have been doing this a lot. I would highly recommend doing light shields and a guardian. This is very similar to like buying light shields with the sheriff. So why do we want to buy the Guardian with Light Armor? You guys might be thinking, oh, but Light Armor is not very good, right? Like, Light Armor is going to get me killed here. Okay, maybe, but the thing is, you're going to be able to sit back, and they're not going to have crazy weapons, right? If they have the Sheriff, they might have a more fair duel on you, but you get the kills, you win this round fairly easily, and the next round, you're able to get full armor, right? You're able to upgrade to full armor, and now, on the whenever they're full buying, you can actually... Um, Fight them with Vandals and Phantoms with your with your Guardian, right? So that's why this is so effective, and that's why I would highly recommend considering the Guardian on either attack or defense whenever you've won pistol round. Okay, um, it's it's really good. Also, other weapons you can consider you can consider Sheriff. I would recommend not doing that unless you want to save up for like an op. You could do the Outlaw, so you could go like Light Armor Outlaw. Um, it's kind of just preference, right? I would not really recommend doing. Vandal or Phantom this round unless you have a lot of money like you killed like you got like an ace But even if even so you don't want to give the, the enemy team a Vandal or a Phantom It's kind of just common knowledge the Ares is a weapon. I don't usually use Bulldog is also a great choice So there you see guys you have a lot of options here It really just comes down to preference what I've been doing a lot recently that I don't normally do is Guardian Marshall Spectre has been my all-time most common choice. So like just full armor full abilities Spectre but recently I've been doing Guardian Light Armor or Martial Full Armor with full abilities, but I really like the Guardian guys. So that's going to be my number one choice here, and that's what I'd highly recommend. So guys, what do we buy on a bonus round? You guys should already be able to tell me this. What should we be able to buy on a bonus round? It's going to be a Sheriff and Light Armor. If you can't buy Light Armor and you can't buy abilities, buy the Sheriff. Um, if you could buy Heavy Armor, buy the Heavy Armor, okay? Why are we doing this? Again, this is, a, this is basically a Guardian, right? It's going to be a harder weapon to use. You need to practice with the Sheriff in the range. You need to practice the Sheriff in deathmatch in order for this to be more effective. But we can we can fight eventually. Once you get good aim, we can fight with this weapon as though we're using a Vandal or a Phantom. And you should. Because it's so strong and it's only 800 credits. So once you guys, the soon you guys understand that this weapon is one of the strongest weapons in the game. It's probably the strongest weapon in the game for how much it costs. So like price to performance. It's going to be the strongest weapon, so I would, you guys just need to get in the habit of using this weapon. Most of you guys probably avoid it in lower ranks because you were just, it just feels so difficult to use, right? You, you, you try to fight someone, you hit someone in the chest, and then they just kill you. But if that one shot was in the head instead of in the chest, you win. It's, you, it, you just have, you have like a mini rifle in your hand. So you should always be buying this weapon on pistol, or on um, eco rounds whenever you can't afford a weapon. So even if that means just buying sheriff and no armor. Right? You should never be buying full armor for a classic. You should always be buying the sheriff with no armor. So that also means like you can buy armor if you can't afford it. What else can you buy on a buy round on an eco round? It's basically the same things, guys. Like Guardian or Marshal. It kind of depends like what kind of weapons the enemies have. More than likely gonna have a full buy, so Guardian's a very good choice. Um, Outlaw is also a good choice to chunk them down. Judge or Bucky, I'll be honest, I'm guilty of using these weapons. It really depends on the map. Um, but again, if we compare the Bucky directly to the Sheriff, the Sheriff is going to win 90% 90 90 of the time versus the Bucky, right? Unless you're running into short range places. So if we want to play a short range place, this is a potential thing we can do. I've actually all, like pretty much only been using the Bucky over the Judge now because, I don't know, I just think for the price, the Bucky is a little bit better right now. But generally, guys, stick to the Sheriff. That's going to be the main takeaway here. So... You guys, this is pretty much the guide. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.